Os Jay Panther embarcaram numa digressão europeia e voltaram a passar por Portugal. Ian Vanek e Matt Riley falaram connosco acerca do concerto, do espetáculo Poison Pizza e do álbum Beats, Limes and Rice. Hey guys. Hello. Hey. How are you? Yes. <laughs> uh uh. -uh. How was the show? Really fun show in Portugal. It was a great show. Yeah, it's not the first show uh, we've seen from you guys, and it's actually not the first interview. So welcome back, first of all. Oh. And um, it's uh, always really intense with you guys. It's uh, and lots of fun. Did you guys uh, uh, have as much fun as last time or the previous times? Oh, definitely. Yeah, no. This is a beautiful venue. We're standing in their art exhibition space here at ZDB, and it's just such like like we said. I think in the first interview, it's a really wonderful space, and it inspires you to create nice things. So. traveled further in Portugal today and, and knew more of what to do and it was you know an even better experience than last time just enhancing and building on the experience Thank you guys so much we're called the Panther from Brooklyn New York we're so happy to be here tonight Just thank you again Are you guys basically touring all the time now is it basically the life uh, of Japanther? Uh, we've always been touring since the start of Japanther, so we were only Japanther for one week before we started touring. So, continue. Yes, it. The story continues. You guys did the Poison Pizza Shadow Puppet show. It was just something we did for our friends, the Unstoppable Death Machines, a really great uh, group from Brooklyn, uh, from Queens and Brooklyn. Um, they were having a record release and they asked us to perform and we said we'll do a special performance as a surprise and it was a, a shadow puppet show. It's something that we've um, worked on many like strange puppet shows with different creative people and it's like a, a way of becoming very childish very quickly. <laughs> Music is a great thing because it goes to a part of your brain stem that lets you act like a child and lets you imagine and wonder very quickly. Music is uh, one of the most effective art forms because of that. Things like dance and um, <clears throat> painting and sculpture, it's very difficult to get, mm -hmm. get to that point. It's very easy for people to ignore, but if there's a good drum beat, the body almost can't ignore it. It's uh, something a lot of people, especially drummers, have thought about because of the the kind of witchcraft or control that goes into it. Yeah, I, th I think it... Oops. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> exactly. I think it goes directly to the heart and skips the brain a lot of the times. What was the poison in, in the pizza? Mm. Cyanide or something. It's the only poison I know in no. English. What is it? It's a. It's a Shakespeare from Shakespeare. It's a Shakespearean poison. Oh, I forget the name though. What is it? Water hemlock, Secuta mexicana. The poison from Hamlet, and um, mm -hmm. and the idea is that the CIA, which is our central intelligence agency, they murder John Lennon and Darby Crash, and they attempt to murder the the Black Panthers. So it's like a conspiracy and like an anti-government, like a play on history where we make up history and we tell kids what history really is. Mm -hmm. And if their parents ascribe to our way of history, then that's what happened. It took quite a while to cut. There are like maybe 70 moving cards. The performance was really exciting and exhilarating, you know. We're covered in sweat just like a performance afterwards, you know.
last year's album, Beats, Limes and Rice, is it a diet you'd recommend, metaphorically speaking and literally speaking? Well, beets are um, good for your liver, and your liver is your filter, you know, like it gets rid of poison. Mm -hmm. That being said, if you eat enough beets, you'll have a strong liver and you'll be able to filter poison better than other humans. Um, citrus is good, you know, I mean, I could just go on and on. Well, these food politics are a big part of uh, traveling in our world and this having a comedic title that talks about food politics is really something that we've always had that title and it just perfectly kind of lined up. We always end up talking about food at some point. I don't know. The other interview, we half of it was about food. I think. Yeah, it's really important. It's uh, one of the things that all humans come together over, and uh, it's a real unifier between countries and cultures and beyond language. Yeah, I think there's a difference between the food industry or like a processed food and, and food that we would recognize. For example, tonight we both had octopus and potatoes and it's a beautiful Portuguese dish and it looks gorgeous and you recognize, oh, this is the fish from the sea and the, the potato from the field. I, <laughs> yes, okay. Uh -huh. And there's maybe some even dirt on your lettuce sometimes and that's good. At when least it's real, yeah. And when you get something like a cake at the store and you say, oh, I don't where in the field does this grow, this pink and white and this, and eventually your body will reflect that and you'll have enough kind of toxins in your blood that your, your body has to give up. Hi, this is Ian. And Matt. And you're watching Generation C. You later. Peace. Hi.